President Obama says the U.S. economy is on a roll. During a visit to an Indiana steel plant on Friday, the president said his economic policies are making a difference. He cited the latest Labor Department report showing 248,000 jobs added in September. The unemployment rate, unemployment rate fell from 6.1 to 5.9. What that means is uh, that the unemployment rate is below 6 percent for the first time in six years. And we're on pace for the strongest job growth since the 1990s. The president says U.S. job creation is outpacing the combined job creation in other major nations. And he again called for an increase in the minimum wage. For more on jobs and the health of the U.S. economy, let's talk to senior columnist for Yahoo Finance, Michael Santoli. Michael, good morning. Good morning. For a while now, we have heard 5.5 is a healthy unemployment rate. We're at 5.9. It feels like that's awfully close. I mean, yeah. are, are we at a strong place right now? We're getting much stronger. By that measure, by the unemployment rate, I think things have gotten better somewhat more quickly than anticipated. And the number of new jobs being created, 248,000 last month, that's good news. It sort of kind of goes away from this idea that there was some slowdown in the middle of the summer. And really, for the last 12 months, the monthly average has been 220,000 new jobs. That's very healthy. Michael, I mean, there is one worrisome sign in this report, though. Yep. I mean, hourly wages are not going up. Given that we've seen this slow but steady acceleration in job growth, why aren't wages increasing? You know, that's related to the other part of this job report that also isn't all that encouraging, or at least less encouraging, which is the sheer number of idled or underemployed workers. So we still do have 7 million people working part-time who would prefer a full-time job. Before the Great Recession, that was below 5 million. So that's a 2 million person kind of pool of people working part-time. That shows you that employers still have somewhat more bargaining power. They're not bidding up wages, at least not yet. And so what we really do need to see, as a lot of economists and policymakers have pointed to, we need to see that slack in the labor market taken up by a more extended job recovery, which, in, which really should bring wages along with it. You mentioned the labor market. So where are we seeing jobs being added right now? You know, in the latest, uh, in the latest report, it was professional and business services, which is kind of a broad category of kind of white-collar workers. Uh, retail had a nice pickup in the past month. One of the areas we're not really seeing it as a driver is construction. So that housing market has kind of stalled out a little bit or at least not uh, improved at a very fast pace. So it's, it's a relatively broad improvement, but it's mostly now in a little more the, uh, the sort of office worker part of the economy than it used to be. Also, teachers was a bright spot. I think a lot of people out there look at these numbers and say, well, yeah, maybe it's getting better, but I don't feel it. And, yeah. and when will they start to feel it? When they say I don't feel it, it mostly does mean that incomes are not really improving yeah. very fast. So the median income is not really kind of lifted to the extent we would hope six or five years into a recovery. So I do think it's a matter of trying to prolong this recovery should bring wages and incomes higher. And that's probably only then will people feel it. Michael Santoli, thanks for being with All us right, this morning. Thank you.